Hello and welcome to another video. I hope that you're all very well. Today's video has nothing to do with driving. Yesterday I got scammed and the reason I'm making this video is to make you guys aware of it so it doesn't happen to you. Yesterday morning I received an email from what I thought was from Microsoft and uh, they said that they had taken almost £300 out of my account for antivirus software that I signed up to three years ago and uh, it was due for renewal. I replied back to this email saying that I didn't authorise this transaction and I wanted a refund. The email bounced back. And what do you think I did? I called them. I was ready for a fight, ready for an argument. I wish I did have this fight, I wish I did have this argument. But instead, I met up with a friendly chap. He said to me, no problem at all, we'll give the refund. He goes to save time, if I logged onto my computer, he'll give me a code, a refund code, and that'll process the, the refund very quickly. He sent me a form which just required my name, email address and he gave me a code to put on that form, a refund code. That was the biggest mistake I made. That code gave him the authority to download a software which took control of my computer without me realizing. I then said to him, I said, while I was on the phone, I said, how did you, I mean, which bank did you take the money from? Because I says, I don't even remember this incident, you know, it was about three years ago. And he goes, look, I can't tell you which bank for security reasons, but if you log into your internet banking, if that was the account that was used, you'll see the transaction there. If not, then you can try the second account. I thought, that's reasonable enough. I logged into my banking and sure enough, there was the transaction. And I didn't realize the time, but he could see my banking. He could see that I had 5,000 pounds in there and he could see well, basically, they could access all my computer. He then, when I logged into my internet banking, he says, can you see the transaction? I says, yes, of course. He goes, wait a minute, I'm going to issue the refund directly into your bank. I thought, this is great. And then he asks me to, on my internet banking, he goes on the top right, there'll be an approve button. If you approve that, you will see the refund in your account within seconds. That is when I got suspicious. And I said to him, I says, you know, I don't feel comfortable doing this. I'm just going to call the bank and ask them for the refund because under the direct debit guarantee, I'm entitled to a refund. And he says, yes, you are entitled to a refund, but that will take days. I can give you one within seconds. I said no and I put the phone down. I called my bank and they confirmed that no transaction existed. And I said to the bank, I said, look, I saw the transaction there and then. And it was a bank that told me that they probably downloaded something on my computer. Anyway, they cancelled all my cards, stopped my direct debits and everything. This morning, I got up and I noticed basically £200 was taken from my PayPal account and another £200 was taken from my Amazon account. I, I thought this could not be a coincidence and I, I, 
but I was baffled on how these people accessed my Amazon and accessed my PayPal. I contacted both Amazon and I contacted PayPal. They are not prepared to refund my money. They said that the transaction was done from my device and it looks like I carried out the transaction. Well, they say that you did carry out the transaction. As far as they are concerned, it's not an authorized transaction. I, I consider myself to be very lucky because at least they didn't get into my bank account with and, and took out the £5,000. The matter got worse because when we realised exactly what they had done, it took us a couple of hours to realise, we tried to go through all the downloads and find out what they had downloaded and we found out that they downloaded this software which is very similar to team viewer and they can take control of my computer when I'm not there obviously they can't use my, take control of my computer when I'm there because they'll realize so what we tried to do was uninstall this software and these people would not allow us to uninstall it what they did they put a blue screen on the computer so we could not carry on uninstalling it. I was exceptionally lucky because my son is in cyber security and what he did, he disconnected the Wi-Fi and then he uninstalled the software. We then deleted everything off this computer and reset it to factory setting the uh, this incident has been reported to the police and i've also reported to um, cybercrime cybercrime uk and uh, we'll see what uh, what action if any they will take i mean I, I, I've, I've got no hope of, uh, of getting my £400 and to be honest I've got no hope in either the police or uh, Cybercrime UK in trying to catch these people because these people are not even in the UK I'm guessing. So please be careful and just yeah. I know we, we all say it, I mean, you just got to be careful. So, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.